Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're talking about files. I picked up this little uh, file set from Cobalt. It was $24, I think. Um, lifetime warranty, as always. And uh, it's a nice little set. I'm going to open it up for you guys, show it to you. Um, and then I'm going to show you some other options that I have, a couple different types of files I have at the shop. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. What you use files for, so... Let's start off talking about what we maybe use files for a little bit. What we're going to use files for is like, um, you know, cleaning up metal when you don't want to leave marks, like grind marks on some metal, on the edge of metal. That's when I'll use these a lot. You don't use them a ton, um, but they're useful to have. The other thing that I use them on um, is fiberglass work. If you have to cut like or make a weird shape um, in fiberglass, you can use these. Not so much. And a lot of people use them with uh filler body filler but i've never really used them for that i you know if i need to i'll just use 36 or whatever on filler um but i will use these from for fiberglass if i'm trying to cut fiberglass into a specific shape that i need i'll use these to file it down or like um like holes and stuff that's what this round one's for to file out holes that, that maybe i accidentally filled things like that you can use a drill but a lot of times it's easier to use a file because you have a little bit more control i find um so yeah, let's cut this thing open. So first thing I noticed when I picked these up is these handles are real nice. This is actually why I got them. Um, the file set right into the handle. And yeah, it's just ergonomic. I like the rubberized grip. It's got some plastic on there, but you can get a good solid grip on it. And they're kind of, they're a little bigger than a lot of the files that I've used in the past. I have like a kind of a small handle, um, but these ones are a little bigger. I like that. It's almost like a little bit bigger than a screwdriver handle actually. Um, so this came with three files. Start off, hold on. So this is the half round. So it's got plastic on it, but as you can see, if you look at it there, it's got a flat side. And then it's also got a rounded side for flat things and rounded things. Um, so you use this one probably the, I use this one probably the second to most. Um, if you're trying to get maybe like you have damage inside a fender where they meet, where the fender and the fender and the side of the thing meet and you're trying to get inside that little edge, you know, you can use them on that. Um, but anywhere where you're trying to get like a rounded out uh, surface, that's what you're gonna use this for. This is nice. You probably use this the most because it's those are the hardest angles to kind of get in fiberglass. Um, so you just use it a lot to try and get those shapes. Or you don't even use it a lot, but you use it the most out of the three types of files. Ooh, next, we have the round. And this is the one I was saying that I'll use so it's round. I mean, it tapers a little bit. And basically, like I was saying, you can use this as like a... Um, if you fill in a hole with fiberglass or if you drill a hole and you want to clean off any burrs or anything, um, you can use this to do that. And that's the kind of things that I usually use this for. You use this one more than you use the flat one. At least I do. Um, but I would say in order, I would do half round and then round. Um, and then the third one it comes with is the mill so this is just flat it's like a little dull sword um and yeah i use this one the least the thing that i use this on is if i make a cut of some kind on a piece of metal and i just need to clean off that edge real quick i'll do that you know um but i don't use it a ton this is just um you know I do use it, but not an overabundance. If I was going to order the, if I'm going to do that, I'll usually just use my half round because it's the one I'm more comfortable with. It's the one that's usually readily available to me. Um, I just don't use the flat one that much once in a while, but not really. Um, so these are, what I liked about these, the other thing I liked about these is that, so as you can see, the file is set into the handle. Um, it doesn't come out. The way that I, that, you know, you usually buy files, not usually, but one of the ways that you can buy files is they have a tang here and this tang fits into a handle that you can then use and you'll get three separate things. All of them will have this thing hanging down here. 
um, and you insert that into the handle and then you can use it. I don't like that. I think it's a pain in the butt. So I just bought some that with handles finally. Usually, even if I'm using this, I'll use it. I don't even have a handle for this anymore. It broke. Um, so I'll just use it without it anyways, just because I think putting it in and taking it out of the handle is a pain in the ass. I don't feel like doing it. This is another nice file set. This is the file set that I used up until I just got this. Um, so basically, it has all three files. So it has the round. It ha oh, it doesn't. It, actually have, it has a square. This one's square. Um, so it has a square file, a mill, and a round file. Um, and depending on which one you want to use, you flip that out, and it has this little cover here. And voila, you have a file, and you want to switch it over. This is made by Matco. Um, I got this years ago. This actually is supposed to be longer, but I broke the end off because I'm an animal. Um, but yeah, these, this is actually really nice. I liked this one for a long time, but if you need to, I don't know, it's just kind of a pain in the butt, again, to, to switch stuff around. I really like to just be able to grab and go, which is why I picked this setup. Um, I got this at Lowe's. It's Cobalt brand. It was 20 bucks. I don't know. It seems pretty solid. Um, you know, as you guys know, sometimes those things are hit or miss. Um, but this one seemed to be fairly strong. Like, I'm not getting any flex out of that. Um, this one I get a little flex out of, but I'm not really going to be pushing on it a lot. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to try them out and see what I think. If, uh, you know, if I hate them, I'll let you guys know. I hope that you guys found this uh, this video useful. I'll put a link in the comments to the actual thing if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.